Okay, so page 65 will be a review paper uh, to help you get a good grade for your uh, long test in this chapter. Make sure that you complete the uh, review notes. Okay, so on your Cornell's note, um, number that page 65. And for the topic, go ahead and just write review. For conservation of mechanical energy test. Okay, today's date should be the twenty seventh. All right. So, what are the pages that you will need? Um, for this test make sure that you check your binder and that you have the following pages we will be needing pages 58 through um, 64 okay all right um, expect on the test the following make sure that you know the units and symbols used in this chapter. That means you need to refer to your formula chart. You know, basic basic symbols like what is KE, what is PE, what is ME. You should be able to know that. Um, next, understand that on page 58, we have the concepts given in there uh, know the definitions of the following words energy of course if you're listening on the first video you should know that energy is the ability to do work then what is potential energy With that, we have three types of potential energy. Hopefully, your notes has definitions and what are the three types of potential energy. Then, the three factors affecting potential energy. And from that, of course, we get it from the equation M times G times H. So this three over here, if you know the meaning of those three from your formula chart, you should be able to know the three factors, okay? So you have your mass, your gravity, and your height. What that means is what? If your mass is heavier, of course, your potential energy will increase. If your height is higher, your potential energy will also increase. All right, next, um, the kinetic energy. What do we mean by kinetic energy? And then that includes the two types, not the two types, the two factors affecting potential kinetic energy. So we also get this from the equation mv squared divided by 2. So these are the two factors affecting kinetic energy, your mass is in the speed. So a heavy object will have a greater kinetic energy and a faster object will have a greater kinetic energy. Next, in one of your notes, you've also learned about the important law conservation of mechanical energy in your chemistry you might have learned about conservation of energy as a whole but in this chapter we limit the type of energy into the mechanical okay and me a simple equation will tell you the the law me equals PE plus KE 
Okay, so that's the sum of PE and KE is the mechanical energy. The word conservation is quite different from what we know every day. To conserve meaning you try to save. Cons conserve in, in terms of the law in physics means that whatever the quantity is being conserved, it remains the same. Okay. On your notes, uh, you should have the illustration of a roller coaster and how the energy is being conserved. And we said that at any point here, at any point, your mechanical energy always remains the same. Okay. Such that whatever is the change in potential energy is the opposite to the kinetic energy and that is being shown by your bars if this is PE this is KE so let's pretend we start from point A that's the highest point so that means that your potential energy there is full because remember if the height is great potential energy is great and since if, if this started from rest and then it will start rolling down that means that at this point your kinetic energy is zero so notice that potential is high kinetic is low now the opposite will happen if we look at this at the point of the lowest point B lowest point B then we know that at the lowest point your speed is the fastest and at a very fast speed your kinetic energy is greatest okay so as this rolls down again your potential energy will start going down but your kinetic energy will start going up it's always the opposite what if the PE is increasing kinetic energy is decreasing or vice versa all right that's your conservation of mechanical energy um, next to that you will also You will also solve problems and that's from pages 60 and 61 all right so make sure that you are using your guess method in that and you're uh, looking at the question what is the unknown what are the given and then use your calculators correctly all right the last two parts that will be included on your test are the worksheets that we did yesterday on pages 63 and 64 so here are some pointers that I want you to use when you're solving these problems okay normally in a problem solving you will be given several points so let's pretend that Okay, we will be looking at point A and let's just say point B. So the normal question will always going to be at what point is the speed the fastest? Okay. And then you will solve for that speed and the third question will be how far up the other hill will the object
be able to go. Okay, so three questions. So the first thing that you need to do for these three questions is of course, you always need to start from the initial point. If I say analyze that point A, some of you analyzed at B. So always analyze at the point that is being asked. If you analyze at point A, that means that you need to get first your total energy and again when I use the word total energy that's your mechanical energy that means you will get your PE at that point first and then get your KE at that point and then add them okay so some of you might say how am I supposed to get PE how am I supposed to get KE again PE is MGH okay KE is MV squared divided by 2. So after you get this 2, you add them and you get your mechanical energy. Again, this mechanical energy remains the same. Okay? So you do that, you get the total energy from the first point or from the initial point. After you do that, you do the same thing for number two. Now you get the total energy or mechanical energy at the second point. Okay? After you get the mechanical energy at the second point, then you will use this mechanical energy to get your kinetic energy at that point. So kinetic energy at the second point, since you do not know the speed there, you will use the equation Ke equals Me minus Pe. Okay? After you get the kinetic energy from that point, now you can solve for speed. Which will be the square root of 2 Ke over M. And right after you do that, now you can solve for how far. How far means the height. And if, it, if the object is starting from rest, then you will use PE over MG, okay? Starting from rest. Or if the object is initially moving, then you will use ME over MG. This is if it's initially moving so expect two types of problems on this on this um, last part all right there you go so hopefully this uh, little review notes will help you get organized and make sure that you will pass this um, long test